Hi, welcome back to Milling Company. It's me, Emily, and today we're doing something special. So I'm so excited to announce that I will be doing a collaboration with Delilah. I will have a link down below to their channel. So for today's video, we're taking the founder from Delilah's Whimsy Stories Legacy Challenge, and we're going to give her a makeover in cast in my Create a Sim style. And on her channel, she's going to do the same, but with Melanie. So this should be really fun and exciting. I'm so extremely stoked and I want you to please go make sure that you go over to her channel. I will have a link in the comments or description or both. And I want you to go check out her video, check out her legacy challenge enjoy it make sure you leave her some likes and why not go ahead and subscribe because she's really awesome and i love her sims youtube channel so without further ado let's start so this is delilah sim leah dream she like i said is the founder of her whimsy stories um she has the master maker aspiration loves outdoors she's a freegan and a vegetarian. And as you can see, I do not have most of the custom content that she had, if any. Because <laughs> currently, she's looking a little bit uh, without. <laughs> All right, so it looks like I have like two pieces of con content that she has on this set. Let's go ahead and start by giving her some skin details and changing these eyebrows because these are these are terrible. Absolutely terrible. We're like those. Yeah, I'm gonna go with these. Okay, like that shade. And then let's go ahead and give her some skin details. And there is our base for her. I'm gonna give her different eyes. She has like really pretty brown eyes. Let's go see what I can give her let's go with those those look really nice okay and now for hair she has brown hair that's like more wavy curly kind of texture um, I obviously then do use both Maxis match and alpha looking hairs but since I used alpha in my series I think and like she uses max and match in her series i think it would be fun to change it up and give her an alpha hairdo all right so we're gonna do this hair so as per part of the challenge she is someone who starts out as homeless and her dream is to own a tiny suburban home and to find love and to be happy and have a family so she's very green and like eco centric and she doesn't like makeup so we won't be putting makeup on her she wears very little to none makeup and then um like i said she dresses very casually so and she typically can be seen wearing like greens browns blues and whites so i'll probably stick to like that color palette I feel like this shirt's very cute and kind of fits the, the vibe, so maybe we'll start with that. Typically for her everyday wear, she has her wearing like some brown checkered pants, so maybe we can try to find something similar to that. That's pretty similar, so maybe we'll do that. I mean, obviously, I don't have to do exactly what she did. We like those ones better. But I would like to try to see if I can't mimic a bit of what she did do. Because, <laughs> I mean, it's her character. She designed it. I'm not trying to, like, remake over, like, the style of the character. More like seeing, like, with uh -huh. my style and my CC, what would she look like? So she has on some, like clunky I don't know what things are called but like clunky brown like loaferish like shoes and if I say something oh. and you're like that's not even right at all don't judge me I don't <laughs> I don't know the names of fashion stuff guys um 
So yeah, let's see. What do I have? I feel like these are not exactly the same, but a similar energy. So let's go ahead and give her these. I'm gonna give her some socks. I hate it. I hate it, guys. Okay, I'm I'm hating it. I have to I have to pick different shoes. They're just I mean, they're not they're not sit <laughs> sitting well with me. Uh, sorry. All right, I know this is nothing like what she had, but I kind of like it. I think it's the shirt. I think I just. I like the shirt, but I don't. I don't like the shirt, guys. I'm so so indecisive. That is such a cute sweater. You know what? I really like. I really like this outfit. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep it. It is nothing like what she has, but I love it. Um, she also typically has her wearing some really cute, simple gold jewelry. She wears multi-layered gold necklaces. I have like the base game one. I believe I have some myself as well. Let's do this one because it's cute. And then she had the black nail polish on there originally so I'm gonna leave it. So there is our first outfit for her everyday look. I think it's cute. Um, <laughs> And then let's go ahead and do her formal look. So she has her hair tied up. So let's see if I can't find a curly updo. I think this one is my favorite. So we're gonna go with this. And then she wears a very simple green dress with nude shoes. So let's go ahead and see what we can find. This one's actually pretty similar <laughs> to what she has. It like doesn't have the tie thing here, but it's actually pretty similar, so maybe we'll use it. Alright, let's do those. And then she doesn't look like she's wearing any jewelry, but it is formal and she typically has on like gold jewelry. So I'm gonna say, what the heck, and let's do it. It could put her in the exact same mm -hmm. necklace. I mean, I like the idea of using similar pieces um, because she did start off as homeless. There is her formal look. Let's go ahead and give her a athletic look. First off, we gotta change her hair. Maybe we'll use the same hair we had on. Formal, since she used the same hair. I mean, I could change it up. I'm gonna change it up. I think this hair's cute, so I'm gonna use this hair. Yeah, I like that. That's really cute. I like that. Yeah, she's super cute. Okay. And then let's give her some beige shoes. Yeah. Okay. That looks great. I love it. And then we're going to go ahead and do her sleepwear. I really like this piece. So I think we're going to do this piece. And then let's give her some slippers. Ta-da. I think she looks really cute. And then let's go ahead and do her party look next. I like this dress, I'm gonna use this dress. It's too cute. And then I wanna do it in a green. So I'm gonna do it in green. And then let's give her some simple heels. One thing I have currently forgotten <laughs> that I just remembered is she is supposed to have three different tattoos. Um, so before we finish, we need to make sure that she has three tattoos. Great. There's her party look. And then we're gonna do swimwear. She has this like really awesome cute swimsuit that, guys, I'm not gonna be able to find anything as cute as it. Cause like, it's a cute bikini and it has like this butterfly belt. So cute. And she has to be a plant mama. So she is obsessed with plants. All right, in honor of her being a plant mama, we're gonna give her this swimsuit that has a bunch of little potted ca ca cactuses in it. All right, and then for her hot weather wear, she wears this really like uh -huh. cute dress with a fun pattern on it and some platform sandals. I have this cute dress that has butterflies. I think I really like that. So let's go ahead and do that dress and then get her some shoes. 
Um, that one. That looks really cute. And then I want to change up her hair. She has her hair down, but apparently the more I, I do this, the more comfortable I get, and the more I'm like, let's change it up. <laughs> uh, that's that's typically how it goes when I make a sim. It's like I make the first outfit and I'm like overwhelmed with the plethora of options and I'm like, how do I do this? And then by the time I like get towards the end of like all the outfits, I'm like, I know her style now. And then I go back and I'm like, the first outfit doesn't even look like the same sim. Yeah. That's typically how my creating a sim goes. And then it's that debate like, do I change the first outfit or not? I don't know. Okay, let's do oh. this hair in a ponytail, and then we can give her some jewelry. We're gonna give her those butterfly earrings, because they match her butterfly top. I think I have a necklace that matches it, yeah. Ta-da! She's so cute! I love it! Okay, and then we have her cold weather look. Let's do that, okay, and then let's give her some fun jeans. We could do these ones with the butterflies. Yeah, let's do that. And then let's give her some boots. Why do I like those? You know what? I've decided I like those. So there is her final outfit. Let's go ahead and make sure she has the three tattoos, like I said. When she started, she didn't start her at three tattoos. She had them her slowly get more. Um, so that they had significance but for the sake of what we're doing i think i'm gonna give her all three wild tattoo maybe we could do that i have this cool rose back here it has a couple different swatches you can't see them very well because they keep turning maybe one of those i like that maybe we'll do that oh i like that one. Ooh, okay and there you go there's her three tattoos all right so one more time this is her everyday look Ta -da. Uh -huh. here's her formal look here's her sleep look here's her party look here is her swimwear here is her hot weather look and then here is her cold weather look so there's all her looks i hope you enjoyed don't forget to go check out delilah's channel and watch her video of her making over my sim melanie don't forget to watch her whimsy story legacy she's starting generation two with her daughter sage and i'm very excited to watch that so now here is delilah's reaction to her sim leah dreams makeover Hello Emily, thank you for doing this collaboration video with me and yeah, let's see the looks of Leah in the style of Emily, the melon company. She looks so different, I like that we have, everybody has an, a different style in The Sims and I like how she looks but she really looks so young and yeah, because I am already as, a, as an adult uh, for Leah on the current whimsy stories, it's a bit strange to look her at her and see so much sage in her. But yeah, the outfit is really pretty. Yeah, it reminds uh, of the current one she has. This is the formal wear. I think it's the same dress, but she looks so different. It's, it's so cute. And this is the athletic wear. I think I gave the same hoodie to her um on for Maloney as well that's so that's so nice i love i love i love this hoodie and this is the sleepwear it looks cute this is the party wear oh i love these shoes i love it then this is the swimwear i love the swimsuit oh with the plants i love it you must send me the link to this I love it. Then there's hot weather. Oh, I like it. I really like it. It looks so good with the sandals and everything. And this is the um, cold weather outfit. It looks so good. I really like it. Thank you for doing this with me. I hope you liked Maloney as well. 
yeah and i will i look forward to doing a new video with you thank you thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you aren't already subscribed and until next time keep making the world a sweeter place bye